Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I want to talk about a brush that I want to introduce more and more on my pipeline and it's called topology. So let's press B and press T and here we go. We have topology. But before that, I just want to show you uh, my usual pipeline. Let's say that I want to make some glasses, some fancy glasses for this character. So let's go and select his head. Um, Usually I need to go and let's go a bit lower. Okay. Um, I usually will choose an area that it's more free and press control and let's mask it out. Something like this. And something like this. And then I will go to sub tool and for extract, press it and then accept it. Let's unmask it and then I will press Ctrl Shift and then we'll go to Geometry and Modify Topology and Delete Hidden. And from here I will just, let's position better with Gizmo, press Alt, just move it around and then Let's go to move and play along. Um, also, I will dynamesh it and maybe uh, Z remesh it, etc. I think you got the point. But this time, let's go and use topology. So let's delete this one. Let's go for the head. Let's unmask it. And I'm going to go to, let's say, three subdivision. If we, we need to keep this one, we can go sub tool and uh, press duplicate. Let's close the above one and go to geometry and delete lower. I'm going to freeze subdivision because we need the lower subdivision. So, and also we do not need to have divides uh, for this uh, brush to be working. So I'm going to press B, go back to topology. And let's start drawing. So I'm going to start, let's start from here. Let's see what kind of glass we can get. I'm going to create some fairly straight line. And then let's cross section them. And as you can see, uh, start making some new topology. Okay, cool. We can go and by pressing Alt, all the XLI will disappear. So by just pressing one click on anywhere, we will have a new topology so it's so cool um, if you don't want this uh, thickness you can just go by pressing S and go to 1 and just press outside or 2 or even more and here we go let's go for small one and I want to cross section this, so I'm going to start from this grayish point until in the middle. Once again, perfect. And we have a connection. Um, I think we can we can press Alt again, and then let's bring new ones. Alt again. Let's check this. Pretty fancy glasses, Control Z and let's make some more. Ah, 
Ah, okay, I'll be back. Now that quick save is done, we can continue. Let's make some intersection points. Press Alt and drag it outside and we can check it out. <laughs> Pretty cool. Maybe bigger. Okay, let's Ctrl Z and let's drag. Something like this and maybe, maybe one more. Uh, before that, I want to clear out. This is some sort of retopology also, I guess. And here we go. As you can see, if, if we go to um, Polyframe, we have a pretty awesome topology. We can do the same thing by Control Shift. Ah, sorry, I need to. Okay, I need to Control Shift and hide. And then let's go and delete actually. We don't need it anymore. We can delete this because we have the top one. And obviously you can play along from this shape. <laughs> or you can Let's shift D and we can hide the rest of them and we have only one with no shell or thickness. So I think this is a pretty useful So I think this is a pretty useful um, brush. I'm going to use it more often on my uh, pipeline for sure. I did use it for some hard surface stuff, but I actually forgot about it. I think the fastest way is obviously uh, with um, masking, uh, dynamic meshing, and then retopology because uh, Z mesh is the fastest way of doing something so cool you do not need to go to another software to topology you just press Z mesh and that's all so it's a pretty cool stuff so in this case maybe maybe uh, Z mesh and masking will go faster but still I think this is a pretty awesome tool. Uh, mask it, sorry. Now I need to fill object. <laughs> this is this guy is a little James Bond. Oh well, yeah, I guess you got the point. Well, I hope you find this brush useful. As I said, I want to use it more and more, but obviously for hard surface stuff. That's it. Thank you for watching and see you next time. I'm going to start maybe new projects and they are not really for beginners, more advanced ones, but I'm going to continue this series because I kind of like it to make them short video and fast learning. 
I hope you find it useful and you love something new and see you next time. Take care.